All right, <clears throat> we might only have a couple more really nice days here left in Buffalo. So let's see what's in the refrigerator for the next review. I think it's gonna be, no, 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 this. Flying Monkeys, Juicy Ass IPA, coming up. All right, guys, let's get right into it. Uh, today I've got a beer from the Flying Monkeys uh, Craft Brewery, and it's the Juicy Ass IPA, and it is plump and unfiltered. Uh, this is a 6.5% alcohol by volume IPA. They have really cool artwork along this entire can. A little description about the beer. It says, from the busy minds and happy hands of the flying monkeys, enjoy Juicy Ass IPA, a golden ambrosia of beautiful hops with notes of pine, tangerine, and passion fruit. Plump and fresh, Juicy Ass is a fun, delicious craft beer. And I have to agree with them on that. Um, I initially bought a four-pack of these maybe about a month or two ago, and I uh, went right through them. Um, a little bit too quick to be able to put on to film. So uh, it was an easy repurchase, and I'm going to get this one on to film before uh, they all disappear like they did last time. So let's take a look at this. I really enjoyed uh, the four pack the last time. So I'm hoping that you guys will agree with me. Again, it's the juicy ass IPA. Kind of feels strange saying that on uh, video, but so the beer. Yeah, it's got this really vibrant looking, almost like a fluorescent looking uh, golden yellow. Do you know what I mean? Um, it's not clear. It's not super hazy. Uh, it's just got a, a nice little unfiltered, uh, you know, tweak to it. Do you know what I mean? Very cool. Super premium head. Really nice lacing. Very well carbonated. Hmm. And it's another one of those that you can you can smell from a couple inches away. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's really easy to get that tart, citrusy uh, part of the uh, the fruit, like the tangerine, um, like some grapefruit uh, stuff like that. It's um, it's pretty easy. Yeah, it's like a, and I don't use the word a lot either. It's it's very hoppy, um, kind of a wet dankiness to it, with all those different uh, citrusy notes. <laughs> so that you know, co coupled by the appearance, um, you know, I was hoping it was going to be really good, and it was really good. So let's let me refresh my memory. Yeah, all the way. So you get the um, you get the tangerine, you get that grapefruit, that little <sighs> up front. <clears throat> um, so yeah, really classic citrusy sort of vibe. You've had it in your head, uh, you've got it in your nose, and it follows right through with the uh, with the flavor. It's super crisp. Uh, it's really really refreshing. Uh, this is something that, you know, we, we had some good luck with our uh, late uh, summer and our early fall, and this just went down really easily. Um, you do start to get a little bit of, uh, of those pine sort of hoppiness notes as well as, as a wash through. Um, overall, this is more of a, I'd say it's, it's a little on the thin side going through, um, 
Definitely, it's not even a question. It's a pretty thin uh, beer. Washes through very easily. There's no bitterness. There's no aftertaste. Um, it's pretty, it finishes clean, you know. Yep. I could do this all day long with this beer. So, that's it. It's a little look into the Juicy Ass IPA from the Flying Monkeys. Again, out of uh, Barrie, Ontario. So, I hope you guys uh, enjoyed a little look at the beer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, and I hope you give it a shot uh, next time you're out looking for another four-pack to buy. So, until next time, guys. Cheers.